On this episode of Shiny G ADH Computer Repair, I show you how to use Folder Painter version 1.3. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a free program called Folder Painter. A long time ago, I showed a video of a program called Folder Maker. This is Folder Painter. They both change the color of your folders. So instead of this, what they call a manila folder, you could have a red one, you could have a green one, you could have a blue one, you could have a yellow one and all that. So I have this over here. So I'm going to double click that. That's Folder Painter. And I'm going to install Folder Painter 64-bit because that's what I'm running. We're going to do Extract All. So before I do that, I am going to create a new folder for the files to go in. So I'm going to do Folder Painter. There we go. So now we'll go back into here. We'll do this. 64-bit. There we go. Click Browse. Desktop, Folder Painter, select Folder, Extract. All right, so we are here and click that and we're going to launch the application. And it's going to ask you, this is the user account control, click yes. There we go. So, here's the cool thing about this. I can install, when I install it, it'll give me the options to change. These are the options I could change my folder color to. And there's other icons, I can change the folder icon to how I like. So now I'm going to click install. There we go. So, what I could do is there we go. So now it's still the same right here because of that. So, because unfortunately, zip folders. I don't know why or they're they're not affected by this for some reason. Uh, that's still the same too. So see this is the icon pack. So if I go here, show more options, it should ah here we go. See look at this. It's installed now. So basically, all I have to do now is right click, create a new folder, right click again, and then I can change the folder icon. So let me show you how that works. So what I could do is right click here, show more options, click change folder icon. That should have changed it. And then you can launch Folder Painter. So, there we go. The folder turned blue. So now let's do another folder. 
Okay, so we'll click that. We'll click red. So now we could do it. There we go. So now you can have multiple color folders in Windows. So I'll take QDIR here. And I'll change that to purple. Actually, whoops, show more options. There we go. So not only did it change it from what this one is to this way. So you can have multiple folders, which is really, really cool. So I'll do another one here. And we'll go to new. All right, so I want to keep it that way. So we'll do launch folder painter again. You have vertical icons, then you have vertical like this. Then you have horizontal, which is this, just like this one. So let's say you don't want that. I can go here and do that. And then you go show more options. You go to change folder icon. Let's do line. Show more options. You have the flower folder. So it does both. Really cool. So now if I want to change this one back to what I want, see, there's two change folder icons. This, the top one, the first one, shows the folders this way. The second one shows them this way. So if I go here, I can do this, and it swaps the folders back. So you can swap the folders this way or this way, however you feel like doing it. This is really cool because now you have the opportunity to customize what you want to do. Super cool, super easy. The program is free, and it's actually a fun program to use. So, so let's say you have a totally blue setup. Your taskbar is blue, the background is blue, your computer is blue, and you want folders to match that, now you can do it. So, anyway, with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click the bell for more notifications.